and welcome back to the to Pokemon Gen 2 podcast. Yes, hopefully for real. I hope so. <laughs> God damn it, Morty. Yeah. Mystic Seer of the Future. God damn it, Morty. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, Morty geez, up. Rick. Come on, man. Just, just go. Come on. There, there's nothing wrong with them. Come on. They, 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 can, they, can, beat any, they can beat anybody. Come on. Just do what I told you. you you'll be great. You'll be great. Yeah. I don't know how much I've told people. I actually have watched Rick and Morty, finally. I haven't caught up in the latest two seasons, though. Yeah, I can... I could watch it anytime I want, because I have uh, HBO Max through my uh, cell phone plan. Oh, nice, nice. But I just haven't gotten around to it. Right. Well, I know my brother's watched a lot of it through Hulu. Yeah. I'll say, although from what I've heard, the last few seasons have not been great. They haven't lived up to the okay. standards of the first three. Which okay. the third has not been as good as the first two, so... Please see a note, Diminishing Returns. Okay. So I'm looking into this, like, because of how many supposed, like, glitch uh, Pokemon are in Generation 6. Yes, yeah, so we established last time there's so many goddamn fucking glitch Pokemon in Gen 6. It sounds like there's some weird formula that happened there that just generated a bunch of shit. Yeah, which there's even a section because most of it is bulb Bulbasaur, including the hybrid versions, is what they call it. Right. But there's a section specifically listed of the non um, Bulbasaur ID ones. Why is it mostly Bulbasaur? What the fuck? Jeez, that is weird. Yeah. So, there's a possibility that they could appear, uh, depending on the index number in decimal and, the hex like, the hexadecimal, so... Right, right, right. Um... So, there's two... There's two that could be Ivysaur. Okay. One that could be a Krabby. One that could be an Arceus in dragon form. Oh, God! I want that one! One that could be... Yeah. One that could be a Charmeleon. One that could be a Mime Jr., one that could be a Charizard, one that could be an Unknown C. Okay. One that could be an Arcanine. And then the final one is a Mega Venusaur. Oh, God! Yes, have Mega Venusaur the regular. Yes! That sounds w wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, while and we're talking about that, we're also going through the uh, gym here. What's the ghost type gym? Just had yes. for anybody wondering the progress of the game. I got a Pokemon last time back in Alvine City, and now we're back here to make progress of where we should be. Alright, so yeah, Generation Sorry. Yeah, Generation 7, there's only one, which is the egg. Um, <clears throat> can only be seen via cheating device. Well, at least they fixed a lot of things up in Gen 7. And so far, Ow! nothing in Gen 8. Uh, in terms of Clutch Pokemon, so... Hey, there you go, people! There's one positive thing for Gen 8! No, no Glitch, glitch Pokemon! Also, Haunter just killed course... himself with Curse! <laughs> yeah, the AI in this, if you're faster than them and they use Curse, they just look stupid. He's <sighs> like, I shall put a Curse on Curse! <laughs> Oh, I thought you were- I thought I was supposed to be the one that was cursed, not you! Oh, you, you know what the best ones I've, I've had happen? Where... It's like, I've, um... It's like, it, it's kind of similar to the ones that you've had where, like, you go into this in my invulnerable state, like, when you do dig or, um... Uh, dive in this game. Right, right. And then they use explosion. Oh, uh, yes, of course. I shall explode! Oh, fuck. Ah! Can I like, come out now? For experience and money! Can I come out now? <laughs> I dodged your tactical nuke, what now? <laughs> or funnier, like, you switch out a poke you switch your Pokemon, they, they use explosion, and it's like, the Pokemon switch to was, uh, Haunter. <laughs> like, oh, fuck! Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 
I don't know what that was, but that looked pretty fucking awesome. Ack! <laughs> Damn you, cars! Oh yeah, how do we explain some of the weird ghost moves in this game, like Spite? That's a dickish one. Takes the PP, the last move you used, and reduces by a number between like three and five, I think. <laughs> that can be annoying if you're trying to not constantly have to go back and heal. <laughs> some ghost moves are just so weird in this game. Yeah. Where did Pokemon come from? What are they fighting for? All I know is that I want all these traitors to get the fuck out of my way! Mm. Now, can you guys let your ghosts kill themselves again? I also just realized we had plenty of traitors who evolved their haunters early. God damn it! Why can't anybody just play fair? Always the early evolutions. Mm. I was like, I'm pretty sure Haunter of Oz is like level 25? Oh, fuck you! Stop! Um, actually, I think it was 24, but I'll double check that. Close enough. I, I thought it was either 25 or 24. Either way, they're still evolving them early. The highest. Yeah, e either, way, they're dirty, either way, there could be dirty cheaters. That, I, know, I know the. I know the Cadaver line. Uh, or not, the, the Abra line, it evolves into Gadabra at level 16. That one I do remember yes, off the yes. top of my head. Okay, Ghastly does evolve at level 25. Oh. Okay, so... I, mean, I knew it was 25 or 24, yeah. One of the two, yeah. Either way... They still cheated at the end of the day. Yes, they did. Oh no, you used Mean Look on me! However could you do that to me? I will paralyze you so you feel the wrath! FIRE PUNCH! That's right, you weren't ready for my friggin' Flappy to know FIRE PUNCH! <laughs> Mainly because it's the only fire move I can have on my team since I did not take the fire starter. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, Morty Sprite a little bit looks like Solid Snake, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like he's... Yeah, I, I thought I had something for that, never mind. Yep, he just looks like Solid Snake a bit. Good of you to go. Oh, oh, no. shit. <laughs> I've been getting invested in Japanese culture. You wanna see how well I've trained these things? So, Get fucked. Why are you bound to hide in this box? <laughs> it's like, I need to become Dummy Thick for Senpai. Yes. Mei Wing really taught me a thing or two about this stuff. It's very interesting. Now you battle these, I'm gonna hide in a cardboard box. <laughs> Just sending out commands to them from a box. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't I take you seriously in the box. Come on, just get out of there. I feel comfortable this way, don't mock me. By the way, yeah, here's what I think is the easiest gym leader in the game. Morty. Yep. He's got pretty much all ghost types, so as long as you, you know, know how to deal with the ghosts you dealt with as you went through the gym, you're fine. Even his prime Pokemon isn't that good. It's good, but it's nothing like spectacular or anything. Yeah. And even a normal type, you can still fight off against most of his attacks anyway, so... I mean, even so, like... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, there's like, a couple moves he has that can be irritating. But that's what a, a yeah, lot of ghosts have been anyway, so... Yeah, mostly it's things like that. I mean, look where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you can't stick now. Well, he's a normal type. Good luck with that. Oh no! Wait, un Fuck! He knows a flying type move! He can hurt me now! Shit! It's more the next couple of months. One, but his particular Ace in the Hole is the one you have to worry about more. Yeah, because that has a status affecting move that. It has a follow up move that can fuck you up. Yup. That is the only thing to fear in this battle, but. As long as you use items effectively or keep swapping out, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, which honestly, thanks to abilities that were introduced next generation, 
the the Gen 4 version of this basically becomes a joke if you know which Pokemon to bring in with certain abilities. Mm-hmm. Yep. Of course. Such as uh, having having certain Pokemon with the ability Insomnia, which basically means, hey, you just shut down their entire strategy. Yep. Which is Hypnosis. You saw his Haunter try to use. Yep. His improperly leveled Haunters. Oh, there it is! Our yep. trade evolution! Gengar! Mm -hmm. I personally prefer his, uh, gold illustration, but... Eh. At least, I think, I think Crystal version actually, like, picked, like, what they thought were the best from gold and silver and used those as their... sprites for that. Yeah. It's weird to think they used a mix of both. You think they would have just used just one. Yeah. And there it is! Dream Eater! It's a psychic move, so be careful with that. It's basically a psychic version that's a lot stronger than Absorb and Mega Drain. But it only works which when the wants to sleep. Yeah, which then again, if you do have a Dark Type 2, you can also shut down that strategy too. Yeah, that is also true. Because, oh, because come on. hey, guess what? Hey, what you, yeah, you're Dream Eater? Oh, yeah, that's cute. I'm a Dark Type. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go when you have a better move, please. Yep. He hit me with hypnosis three times in a row! Fuck you, bro! <laughs> yep. Fuck you, AI, your lucky hits! My goodness! Thank yeah, you! Yeah, because that's always the rule when it comes to RPGs. That's the, that's the way it is in RPGs all the time. The opponents uh, say the same they always hit you, but 9 times out of 10, but when you try to use it yourself, it hits only, like, maybe 3 times out of 10. Like Rock Throw and Gen 1. Oh. Yep. 60% accuracy for no reason. Mm-hmm. Man, that's how I always feel about fucking Tackle. 95% accuracy. I missed three times in a row of Tackle without my accuracy being lowered. Fucking 95% mm -hmm. my ass. Yep. I fucking hate Tackle. Whoever the asshole is who decided that does not need to be at 100% accuracy should go fuck themselves. Mm hmm Like, for real. Which, which, thankfully, they did fix that in Gen 5. About goddamn time. Yeah, because Scratch was always 100% accuracy. But fucking Tackle, no, 95%. Oh. <laughs> it was so funny. And it was only... <clears throat> and it was only 35 power back then. Yeah, where Scratch was 40! Like, come on, man! Which then they gave it, basically gave it a power boost to 50, only to take it away down again to 40. Yep, they wanted to make all those opening accuracy. moves the same. Makes you which... Eh, I don't know. Which basically it's like, oh good, I can replace it with Quirk Attack again! Of course! Oh yeah! That's right, Quirk Attack is the same freaking strength! but is more accurate. And it's a priority move. Yep. God, I fucking hate Tackle. So useless. Yeah, it was only useful in Generation 5. Yeah. Like, that is, like, honestly one of my least favorite Pokemon moves. Just because one you start with, and it's not even 100% accurate. So it's like, I get fucked over by RNG with my opening, with the move I start the game with. Like, fuck you, game. And that's why for the early for the early game for pre-generation five, you go with the fire starter because they usually have scratch. Yep. Now I got Ansem starting to tap into his inner darkness by giving him Shadow Ball. Yep. It's Which is a physical move for some reason. Yep, and it lowers special defense. God damn it! Not helping! <laughs> oh god, so dumb. I also want to say, it also looks like I think they tried to implement double battles in Gen 2, but they just couldn't. Because hmm. there how there's a lot of spots where there's, like, twins grouped together. Yeah, and I mean, you... technically they were all... I thought they were also there in Generation 1, too. Maybe. This game is a little different, because with Gen 2, they actually had the, the pairs of two there. You talk to one of them, you battle both of them, and there's only two Pokemon, you battle one at a time. Hmm. But you can't battle the second one of them, because they technically shared the team. 
Makes it feel like they tried to implement double battles in this game, but just couldn't. Let me take a look at that. At least that's what I think. It just feels that way. Oh, you got an ship badge! I guess you can go this way, then. Yeah, thanks, for being Jerry Shibri, yada, yada. thanks for letting me through, you fucking dick. I finally wanted to go this way. Yay! I go to this tower in the background. Now I got Ekritik's gym badge. It's the fucking Tin Tower. A legendary Pokemon is set to roost here. Mm. I won it! If only I could get it. God damn it! I want the Pokemon that's here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, thanks, asshole. Yeah, the hell, this asshole is like, I'm trying to find the Pokemon here. I'm just gonna stand at the bottom stairway. Unless you have this weird <laughs> wing I'm looking for. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. And yet, this is still the one generation that did its exclusives, the, the uh, legendaries, I mean, the best. Because you can get mm -hmm. all of them! Yeah, I'm gonna look and for that. Um, no. It looks like it was always meant to be in, um, Generation 3. Oh, okay. Okay. It just felt weird at the setup in Gen 2. I know Gen 1 kind of had trainers next to each other, but they did battle separately. In this game, you, they actually, like, battled together, kind of. Mm. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot. The frickin' burned tower here, you actually need to, um, have Rock Smash on you to get through this place. Because this game's an asshole. Because not those things sitting over there. See, like, a couple dogs? Hmm. How weird. There's, like, a bunch of statues there. I want to get between them and see what happens. Hmm. Oh, yeah, HP. Here you go. Um, who should have it? Add some. Embrace the power of HP. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure they always have elements they were trying to do previous generations that may not be able to incorporate until the next generation. I mean, Gen 5 is Probably. still the only one that I think that has uh, triple battles. Yeah, Generation 5 is one of the only two that has triple battles. I, I know Gen 6 has an option for you to do that in, like, the, the cafes. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. I keep forgetting about that. I guess they got rid of it because they thought it was too complicated. And I think they yeah. always made them optional. I don't think you ever had to do any of them. No, like, um... Yeah, the Bell Cafe things, like, yeah, you don't have to do any of those. Yeah, I know a lot of the, the that's ones... Where, that's all That's all where the, um... The triple, triple battles are in that. Yeah. Uh, generation of games. Yeah, so I know Gen 5 is you had to, like, run into particular people, they would tell you that it's a triple battle, and you'd have to actually accept it to do the battle. They wouldn't just throw you into it immediately. Which is nice, but... Yeah, triple battles are always really weird. Mm. Basically, you wanted your Pokemon in the center to be the one that had a move that would hit everybody, and the two of the sides hopefully be good against the, uh, Pokemon that they're facing. Hmm. Yeah. At least I think that's how I yeah. wanted to do it. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like triple battles is way too complex, honestly. Yeah, double battles at least make sense, because you can do, like, team tactics, and, you know, moves that can hit everybody or hit both your opposing Pokémon. With triple yeah. battles, you kind of have to think, can moves hit two Pokémon? It's also based on the positions, like, if you're in this corner, you can't hit the Pokémon in that corner. It just got a little... much. Oh, yeah! This guy actually burns oh. down to ashes, apparently, after you beat him. <laughs> oh, God, we're back down to regular Game Boy Color! Shit! I always thought that was a glitch, but you talk to him. <laughs> He's like, shit! Ooh, 
Oh, I made it! So! Oh, God! What are those? They sell- Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, and it begins. There's also a nugget between them. Be sure to take that. Yep. Good, free money. Yeah, gonna need it to buy all the Pokeballs. You're probably gonna waste trying this shit. So! so. Yep. You can talk about it if you want. Go ahead. Okay, so in addition to additional uh, types of evolutionary ways of evolving and all that stuff, you know there, how there's more legendaries now than there were previously? Yeah. Not by much, but some, yes. Yes. So in addition to the traditional stationary legendaries with, um, you know, Lugia, ho -Oh, Technically, there is also the now... Thing. Yes, but only in the virtual console version, specifically. Yes, yes. Legally. I mean, officially. Le legally, whatever. yes. Whatever, yeah. Yes. Officially, legally. Legally official. Not hacking the game. Whatever. <laughs> yes. There. <laughs> Either way. But now they've also introduced another mechanic, which is, depending on the version of the game you have, can be either easier, because what one of these three assholes becomes a stationary mod in Crystal version. We'll get to that when and we also see him. And over to the remakes, apparently, which is nice. Yes. However, no matter which version you have, the other two... How would you like to aimlessly try to find these assholes? Oh, roaming legendaries. Yep. Basically, they just pop up at random spots of the map, and you gotta hope you'll frickin' run into them. It's easier and... once you find them, but... And it's these particular legendaries is why the move moves such as Mean Look were introduced. Yep. But even then, it might not help you, because of certain moves that I think all three of them have. I think all of them have Roar. Yes. And if it's done in the wild encounter, the encounter automatically ends. Yup. And I know in this game in particular, not only does it have the most roaming legendaries in it, it's also kind of broken. Mm-hmm. It hasn't personally, because... ha it hasn't personally happened to me, but I know... Certain things that should not let them run away can still let them run. Entei was frozen! Entei ran away! Yes. All oh, right, that's the other thing <laughs> to mention. When you run into the roaming legendaries, they tend to run on the first move. <laughs> so you either have to trap them so they can't move, which means you have to be fast enough to use moves like Mean Look, or hope you can catch it as soon as you run into it, or the risk you're scratchy, Keep hurting it every time you run into it, because the health carries over. And yes. just hope you eventually catch the fucking thing. And of course, unlike in later generations where as long as you stay on the same route, if you happen to find it in said route, mm -hmm. they'll stay in the route until you encounter it. The way it works in these games is that they'll never stop fucking moving. You can literally take one step, pull up your Pokedex, and suddenly they're moved to a different location. Yeah, I know Gen 4 is also kind of a pain, but... And then again, there's only Because they never stop moving. Yeah, I know Gen 3, it wasn't that bad. There was only one, and if you saved your Master Ball, it's like, Alright, cool! Catch! And then you don't have to worry about it, because Gen 3 only has one roaming legendary. This game has three. Crystal has yeah. two. And the Gen 4 games also have two. Yep. I'm pretty sure Gen 5 only has one. And then those right, really let me double check that out. And Gen 6 has a weird ex execution of a roaming legendary. You have to run into it ten times before it goes to a stationary location. Okay. Oh, Gen 6's was so dumb. You chased it and had to run into it ten times for it to then go to a stationary location. Why would you waste my time? Like, oh. So yeah, it only it, 
It only happened in the core series games through Gens 2 through 6, with exception of Black 2 and White 2 and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Yes. So, yeah, as we've mentioned, in Generation 2, there's three of these assholes. Yep. And they're all painful to go after. Yep. One of which, if you play Crystal, will become stationary. Yep, and it won't try to run away Again, immediately, yep. and it doesn't have roar. Which, we'll get to that when... when we see him. <laughs> the other two, regardless of which version, will be an asshole no matter which which version you have. And like I said, because of how broken this mechanic is, they will never stop fucking moving. Which, funny thing, in Pokemon Crystal, well, with Gold and Silver, basically, you have the chance to get both Box Legendaries in both games. Because you need certain items. Mm -hmm. Crystal's a little different. One, you get from an item, or plot, I think, in the game to be able to get it. The other one, yes. you need to get all three of those fucking dogs to get the chance of the other one. Mm hmm. Real dick move. <laughs> but yep. Hey, you gotta catch them all, right? Oh, yeah. And those. This is the worst this mechanic gets. They introduced it here, and it's at its worst in this generation. Now, granted, you can alleviate the pain a little bit with one of them by using a Master Ball on it. Because why wouldn't you? But, it's but, the other two. When you, but when dealing with the other two, or in the case of Crystal, one, if you're smart, yes, like you still have to struggle a little bit. Yep. Don't worry. We'll be going over more about this stuff when we run into them way into the future. Yep. We're not going to be getting to them until like towards the end of the series. So they're out there. No. That's all you need to know. We'll get back to that eventually. <laughs> I will say this, though. At the very least, try to find them at least once before you get through the Elite Four. Because repels are your best friend for uh, hopefully being lucky to find them. Because mm -hmm. they repel everything but Pokemon that are levels higher than you. You can use those to hopefully track them down in early areas, if you're lucky. That's really the best help you can get. Alright, well, let's end this episode. We introduced the dogs and got our fourth gym badge. Come back next time, and I guess we'll go back to Olivine City and try to progress to the plot.